Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly love bonus reading. Let's get into it and see what comes up, Gemini. What do you need to know um, for matters of love? Okay, three cups cards. So strong water sign coming in around you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or a lot happening emotionally. Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. feel like there might be some neglecting of a relationship here. Okay, the Ace of Swords. This is... um. Ace of Swords reversed is, is a lack of fighting for something here. We've got the Emperor reversed, which can be an Aries uh, for some of you. Um, the Emperor is, is reversed here, so... I don't feel like there's anything major happening in love. I actually feel like there's a bit of a lack of fighting for someone or being supportive, Gemini. Um, now, the Seven of Cups has come up twice. So there's definitely you are in your mind a lot this week. You're thinking things. It's making you a little bit frazzled or throwing you off a little bit, um, Gemini. So what's happening emotionally? You're a little bit scattered all over the place. Some of you may be neglecting a relationship or a person in favor of friends, um, in favor of other people or other options, Gemini. So I'm wondering what it is that's going to happen that, that'll lead you to this sort of behavior right here. Now the serpent is here. The serpent is known, is, is read as a quite a cunning, strategic, somewhat sly um, figure, especially in the biblical tradition. Um, these these decks are based on on medieval uh, Christian decks, hence the um, the the biblical nature of them. But look, the the serpent emerges from the cup. So I almost feel like it's either like cats out of the bag, or there's there's a bit of sneakiness. It's almost like you're wanting to do something to either make someone jealous or to make them see something here. I don't know if you necessarily want to hurt them. I think there's something here. Ace of Swords, you're coming up as the Ace of Swords reverse, Gemini. Normally, this is you fighting for things. This is you um, This is you voicing your opinion. This is you arguing back and saying, well, no, I want it this way. Or no, I really like you. you this is reassurance, um, especially, especially mental clarity. But it's reversed. Are you growing tired of constantly having to reassure someone of something? Are you growing tired of fighting with someone? Ace of Swords is having the courage to do something, but it's reversed. Maybe you're lacking courage in a situation. Maybe there's something you have to do, but you... It's almost like you're putting it off, maybe, in a way. Um, the Emperor can be a confronting slash intimidating situation or person. Um, and this is coming up reversed for you. So this can be an Aries. Um, but let's look at that for a moment. The Emperor is intimidating. The Emperor poses. The Emperor represents opposition, control, needing respect, and maybe even stubbornness. But this is reversed here. I think you're not giving power to a certain situation and or relationship, Gemini. I don't know if you're losing hope about it. I don't know if a part of you feels like it, you can't get it to this. Um, to this here with the Ten of Cups. Because this is in fact reversed. You might not be seeing eye to eye, especially if you're like married or have children. If you've got that sort of family dynamic. Um... That could be a little bit fractured for you this week. But I often associate the Ten of Cups with the Happily Ever After card, where you'll end up, where you'll be, but it's almost like you're not fighting for a future with this person. Um, again, I think you're you're not giving it priority or your attention is, is elsewhere with the Three of Cups for some reason. Um... Yeah, look, I think that's the, that's the case. That's what I'm seeing here. Your attention is being diverted elsewhere. 
and I think you're thinking a lot about things. It's almost like you're thinking, is this person going to be suitable for me? They don't have this. They don't have that. But yet there is something about them that keeps you, keeps you, keeps you there. And the fact that you have the Emperor card show up at all indicates that this person has a very large influence in your life, um, has a very um, heavy presence in your life. And without them, just thinking about it now, Gemini, think to yourself, without this person in your life, where would you be? Would you be somewhere different? Would you be feeling the same things that you're feeling now? Uh, would you be talking about such uh, things that you could have in the future in regards to love? Normally the Ace of Swords is seen as a card of cutting ties or removing things on a situation here, but it's reversed. So some of you don't want to cut ties. Um, your person might be asking you to cut ties from certain friends or family members, exes. They could be, um, they could be putting quite a demand on you or trying to control something, but I don't think you're going to let that happen. But I do feel in a way you're done fighting with a situation. And now I feel with the snake here, I don't know if this is some of you Geminis, you might be a little bit more cunning in your approach, more subtle, uh, more low key about things, not as verbal as you once were. I think that's been taken away for some reason. So it'll be interesting to see how that does unfold for you, Gems. Uh, please remember this is a general reading. It's not going to apply to everyone. But nonetheless, I do hope it has been helpful to your situation.